piece cut and notched out. Now we're gonna try to fit it up in there. Get that cocksucker tacked into place. One of the problems is, is that this body line here actually extends down. So that's gonna become an issue. So the key, what I'm gonna do, is that we're gonna start to fit it up, clamp it in place, and then start tack welding it in. Well, I got it patched in. It's not welded in place yet, so it still looks pretty crude, but I'm working on tapping that in to kind of match that contour. Same with in there. And once we get that all welded up and then bonded together, it should look all right. But we'll worry about that once we get everything else pieced in. And like I said, at the very end, we're not going to worry about that because the wheel wells are going to be cut out. However, the issue that I'm dealing with is that I got 0.35 wire and I'm going to go get a roll of 0.25 because I'm pretty sure 0.35 is way too big because I'm having issues blowing through. When I have it on the lowest setting, it doesn't seem like I get the heat and then if I set up the setting B I get the heat but it burns through so we're gonna get some thinner wire try that out see what happens but I think we're gonna call it a day and then we'll come back out again tomorrow because yeah it's, that's the thing when you start doing this bodywork stuff you know you're trying to get things fitted up and fuck you know what people will make it look so simple but in reality sometimes it can go really smooth or like today I'm dealing with old shit that's been welded together and then patched work and then I'm trying to make it a little bit better and you know everything's kind of warped and I'm using like screws to screw it in to kind of hold it together straight and yeah so it's like taking like a few hours to get that done and yeah I'm fucking done for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's the following day. It's supposed to rain again today, so I'm just out going for a little hike, maybe four kilometers, and head her back to the house to do some work. Because this weekend's supposed to be raining. I was supposed to take out the ATV, try out my new trailer, but that may be a bust, but we'll have to see. This rain is getting sickening, even though it's warm out right now. The ground is so saturated, everything is like mud. Yeah, it's not going nowhere now. Well, uh, picked up some of this .24 wire. Let's get rid of the other stuff and try this out. Just a couple of modifications we're going to have to do. Small groove. Huh. Except I don't have the liner. I don't know how much that's going to screw us over. Ah, uh, this is only 30 wire. I thought it was 35, but that's okay.
still needs quite a bit of work yet, but we're gonna get back to that later. We're gonna work on these sections, but first, oh, I need to get a project done on this beast. I've been playing the moving game, and I need to get these lights installed. Oh, I'm gonna scrap this project for a number of reasons. I don't feel like fabricating a bracket to make it work. And also that air dam is for the transmission cooler. I don't wanna fuck things up, so I'm just gonna pop it out, pop the clear lenses back in. Well, today's Sunday. Today is the day we were supposed to be out riding ATVs. And yesterday we were under a tornado watch, then a tornado warning, and then started pissing rain all day, but day so far actually has turned out pretty good, but thunderstorms are supposed to be coming. In the meantime, let's continue on with this. I need to get that piece out from inside, put it back in here, and then fit the one piece up. I cannot stress enough that these hydraulic rams are the shit I need to bring that body panel up. Start this camera going. Make sure the valve is tight. See what I mean? Perfection. So I very gently put those clamps there and I put this piece in and butted it back where it's supposed to be and it's lined up because there's a notch in there and on the piece underneath there's a notch and those have to be lined up. Now I'm going to take a scribe and scribe along here because some parts are good, some parts aren't as far as fitment goes. Well, got this corner section put in. Just, just gotta build this section here. Oh, my stupid earplug. But let's cut this out now so that we know what we're working with. Looks like I got barely 200 PSI of gas left. 
And I'm going to have to get a new bottle. What am I running? 25% CO2, 75% argon, I think that it is. It should be all cut to the size we want it. I'm going to clean up a little bit. My cousin's on his way over. We're going to shit BS with him for a bit. It's motherfucking beer time. Holy fuck, you're a little crooked there. Jesus. Drunkness. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Ugh. Finally got off my ass, got some progress done. I'm hoping if I can stay focused to get the rest of that put in within a week or two because I get sidetracked all the time. I'm gonna try to stay focused. I'm gonna end this because my cousin's coming over. So I'm just gonna start cleaning up a little bit in the garage. But if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.